What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video, so sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But in today's video, I am on my alternate character, and we are going to find the textiles vendor, Danny Weaver. So today is the very first day that Danny Weaver has been released, so we have to figure out his location. Now to do so, we have to talk to the snitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept this now because I already have some enemies over here trying to mess with me. But what I typically do is I have uh, you in the comments section below tell people where you typically find the snitch. Now I just hit the bounty and here is the coordinates for my snitch location this week. Uh, 1192 by 2067. Those are the coordinates and I am just east of the mast control point. Now the reason why I'm showing you the snitch like I typically do for Cassie Mendoza is that this is also the way to find Danny Weaver. Now Danny Weaver is going to be your textiles vendor. So you can see right here we have Cassie Mendoza and then now we have Danny Weaver. So we will get two white shopping cart icons now whenever we go to the snitch. Now these vendors open up at the same time and close at the same time. So today I will be doing two separate videos to show you Cassie and show you Danny Weaver. But from now on, on Wednesdays, I'll probably just combine the two into one longer video. But if we run over here to Danny Weaver, we're going to uh, go through everything. This is the very first time this vendor has ever been open. So this is going to be pretty exciting. I've never been, uh, I've never been over here. Let's see. Oh, never mind. It's showing us the underground location where Cassie Mendoza typically is. All right. So again, for this one, it's a little bug. This happens with uh, Cassie as well. But you can see the GPS, the line and the arrow is telling you to go down the street over here, even though Danny Weaver is right underneath us. What you need to do is look for this green door and then go down this ladder. And this is where Danny Weaver's gonna be. This is also a Cassie Mendoza uh, location. A hole in the wall. Now, if you did not know, oh, that's cool. There he is, Danny Weaver. But if you did not know, this is a side mission. So if you haven't done this yet, Jane Applegate is also a side mission. But here's Danny Weaver. This is our new textiles vendor. And uh, let's check out what's going on over here. You wanna make a deal? All right, so here is your textiles vendor for right now. Now, the reason why I am saying that, because these are only caches. All right, we'll go Thanks through those training. in a second. But if you go to your season, so click start, go to season, and then you see in the bottom middle, it says season primer, click on that. And you can see in the bottom right corner where it says textile vendor, it says, find Danny Weaver, a wandering vendor, to trade in your textiles for new patches. So it says right there that he will be selling new patches. But obviously, right now, these are just caches. So each cache only has a stock, so you can only buy so many every week. So it's looking like we can get one exotic cache, five field proficiency caches. So what's that? That's 10 items, 11 items, uh, four material caches, and then two named item caches. So every week you can get 13 items and four crafting material caches. Okay, not bad. Now my question would be, if I buy this now, right? So if I buy everything, and I'm doing this all live because I've never seen this before, just like you. So we do this. We buy everything, right? All right. So now it says no items available. Okay. Now it says I have to wait another five days, Happy you know, for the train. weekly uh, reset. All right. 
So that's Danny Weaver. But what if, just, just what if, I switch characters? If I switch characters, can I buy more materials from Danny Weaver? Because I found his location for both characters now. And that's why I started the video on my other character, because I wanted to test this out live with you. So if I go onto my map, yep, I can still see his location right there. So let me see if this is per character, then that means you can buy these caches four times or however many times you can uh, make a new character. That might be the next, uh, the, the next thing to do is uh, just keep making new characters, going to the textiles vendor and just buying all the caches. So then you get all the scavenging points and then you could get all the caches. And let's test it out, let's see. And if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. I do daily division content. And uh, ring that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of these uh, division uploads. So again, er, I don't want to fight. Ah, oh, crap. Found you. Yeah, I'm not trying to fight you, bro. I'm not trying to fight you. Get on that. Okay, so again, go through the green door. And then he will be the hole in the wall, right? Here he is. Same location. Hey, you. Ah, it is per account. It's up. not per character, it's per account. Okay. So I just tested that live for you. So you cannot switch characters and just uh, buy more stuff. So once you buy his uh, caches, you are done for the week. All right. And that is it for me. I am Kamikaze Von Doom, and this was your Danny Weaver textiles vendor reset. Um, if it's just going to be caches every week, we probably won't be covering it in a weekly video just because all it is is caches. However, if uh, Danny Weaver does start to sell patches that are different every week, then we will be doing a vendor reset. But let me know what you think about this vendor. It is brand new. Today is the very first day of this vendor. So all of it's brand new. I will turn around and do a Cassie Mendoza video uh, right after this. So stay tuned for that. But I want to gauge everyone's opinion on this vendor. Would you like to see more caches from the vendor? Would you like to see more things from the vendor? If so, what would you have the vendor sell? Because textiles for patches or caches, something like that. It's not really game changing, you know what I mean? What would you do? Let's discuss. And while you're at it, hit that thumbs up, support the channel, you know the whole YouTube spiel. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. Enjoy the rest of your day, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.